off the coast of America, a magical world where billions of shrimp are waiting to be discovered and harvested. Shrimp fishing is not only an important part of the seafood industry, but also an indispensable part of local culture and life. Right now, we will follow American fishermen to learn about their adventurous journey and how they catch billions of shrimp. On the Atlantic coast of the United States, shrimp are mainly found in the waters off Maine, New Hampshire and Massachusetts. They live on soft muddy bottoms in waters about 30 to 1000 feet deep. Shrimp move with seasonal water temperature changes. They are only common in inshore waters in late winter and spring when the waters are coldest. Female shrimp carrying eggs move to shore in late fall. Around February to April, after the eggs hatch, the female crawfish return to offshore waters in the western Gulf of Maine. The average American consumes 4.1 pounds of shrimp each year. But how to catch those delicious shrimps? In fact, the shrimp you eat at a restaurant comes from many different sources. Although all our local shrimp, the way they are caught may vary. The first type is shrimp caught on small boats using round nets and released into the sea. In this case, coastal fishermen can only catch shrimp near the shore or estuary areas. Depending on economic conditions, fishermen will equip appropriate boats, support equipment and fishing tools. The fishermen on this small boat are casting their nets. You can see that the size of the catch will be proportional to the amount of shrimp they collect. Of course, the number cannot be as large as the large boats. The second type is shrimp caught by shrimp trawl nets. Fishermen have to go by boat for about three weeks and catch shrimp at sea. Shrimp is processed on board and quickly frozen in batches. A common portion of shrimp in this form will include four pounds of frozen shrimp, which are selected by the fishermen by size. If these shrimp are not harvested, processed and eaten, they will die or be consumed by larger fish in the wild. But shrimp is an annual and sustainable seafood. A new crop of shrimp will grow and be ready for harvest. Each year, billions of shrimp are caught off American shores. From the Gulf to the white sand beaches of Florida, fishermen use modern means such as fishing boats and shrimp trawl nets to harvest. This process not only provides a significant supply of shrimp for the domestic market, but also contributes to the US shrimp export industry around the world. The main feature of this type of fishing is the trawl net. A large specialized net sinks to the bottom of the ocean and is pulled behind the fishing boat. The shape of the trawl is similar to a flattened cone with a wide front allowing for a wide range of fishing. The bottom of the net is attached with heavy objects. The top is attached with a buoy, helping the upper part of the net to be raised to catch shrimp. While the net glides gently across the ocean floor, the chain pushes the shrimp off the bottom to make it easier to catch. The cone-shaped structure of the trawl forces the shrimp downward until it reaches the bag. After that, the net is pulled in by the boat's strong workers. Shrimp are stocked on the ship's deck for ease of sorting and processing. In the United States, Shrimp fishing is second only to crab fishing in importance. In the northern regions of the country, cold water shrimp are the target, while warm water shrimp species are targeted by fishermen along the southeast Atlantic coast and the Gulf of Mexico. Detecting shrimp on the bottom is always impossible because they lack bubbles that ultrasound can detect. In some cases, Fishermen had to pull nets blindly and wait for luck. Many ships have also installed shrimp detection systems. 
the sensor is tightly attached to the net to help reduce by catch. The sensor picks up the sound of the shrimp hitting the net and transmits the signal to the cockpit. At this time, the screen displays blue water lines and turns red. High fuel costs, labor shortages and an influx of cheap imports have made shrimp fishing a less viable proposition. Some locals say overfishing and environmental factors such as climate change have also led to a decline in seafood numbers. This makes it even more difficult to get a good shipment. More than 2 million pounds of whole head shrimp are harvested annually by a fleet of more than 200 boats along the Georgia coast. Licensed shrimp trawlers perform most commercial shrimp harvesting in Georgia. The fleet consists of fishing boats or vessels ranging from 55 feet to 75 feet in length. They fished for shrimp from the shore as far as 8 miles offshore. When American fishermen go out to catch shrimp, they often have to prepare for a journey lasting several weeks at sea. The boats pulled up to four otter trawl nets, with lines at the ends of the nets up to 55 feet long. The wooden door acts as a path to drag and drop the net underwater. The normal trawling speed of these boats is two knots, or less than three miles per hour. Typically, blue or yellow lights are used at night to attract shrimp and aid visibility. This is a very popular tool for catching shrimp. Pulling nets is wet, muddy and tiring work. But it is also an attractive job if you can harvest a good batch of shrimp. For shrimp to develop into one of the world's most popular foods required the simultaneous development of otter nets and the internal combustion engine. Just a small team of fishermen can quickly lift heavy nets onto the ship and unload them. Fishermen can now explore new fishing grounds thanks to the development of technology. Besides, fishermen can deploy trawl nets in deeper waters offshore and even in icy areas. Today, fishermen are extremely concerned about maintaining the environment and shrimp fisheries because their livelihood depends on it. Bycatch is also a particular concern. Fishermen use equipment that creates a hole in the net, allowing large fish to exit through the opening. Besides, the small holes also open and allow small fish to swim out of the net. For 25 minutes, giant nets will be lowered to a depth of 300 to 500 meters. Six hours later, it was time to pull the net. The moment all fishermen have been waiting for. Everyone focuses on doing their job well, because even a small mistake can put them in danger. Collecting four tons of shrimp, the boat compartment began to be filled. Each trawl is six hours apart, and each day this boat will catch a total of 32 tons of shrimp. After being brought on board, the shrimp will be initially treated to remove algae and other impurities. This is usually done by placing the shrimp in tanks containing filtered water to remove impurities. After being cleaned, shrimp will be stored in large tanks on the ship. Some fishermen choose to boil them before preserving them. To ensure shrimp is kept cold and fresh, Fishermen often use refrigeration systems or ice to maintain appropriate temperatures. When the ship has harvested enough shrimp and returned to port, the shrimp will be processed and prepared for market. Shrimp can be packaged in ice boxes to maintain quality and freshness during transportation. Once prepared, shrimp will be transported to seaports and shrimp processing factories. From there, they will be distributed to domestic and international markets through marketing and distribution channels. The boat set sail in the morning. It returned at sunset when the boat was loaded with shrimp. 
The life of shrimp fishermen goes on like that every day. They strive to bring economic value and development to this seafood industry. Hello my friends. The ponds located between the rice fields and the small river will become the starting point for today's adventure. Farmers here not only farm, they also raise aquaculture, turning small shrimp into a huge source of income. Right now, we'll learn how farmers raise and produce billions of shrimp in an industry worth $68.4 billion. Farmed shrimp accounts for 55% of global shrimp production. Of these, about 75% of farmed shrimp is produced in Asia. Most take place in China, followed by Thailand, Indonesia, India and Vietnam. Shrimp farming has generated significant income in these developing countries. Shrimp farming has changed from traditional small-scale enterprises into a global industry. Technological advances have led to farmers raising shrimp at increasingly higher densities. To have a bumper crop, the top factor is shrimp seed. Female shrimp lay 150 to 500 eggs at a time. After hatching, shrimp larvae are usually incubated for about 15 to 21 days to increase survival rates before being transported to the farm. Of course, the life cycle of shrimp takes place under conditions that are completely controlled by farmers. To effectively raise shrimp intensively, farmers must accelerate the growth rate and control the farming process so that the shrimp are uniform in size. At the livestock farm, before welcoming a new batch of baby shrimp, farmers will treat the pH level in the pond. Each pond has an oxygen generator, roof, bottom lining and plastic pipes placed underneath to absorb water and release air from the pond. Shrimp are fed a high protein diet, often provided in pellet form consisting of fish meal, soybean meal and other supplements. The feeding schedule is adjusted according to the growth rate of the shrimp. If grown well, mature shrimp can be 5 to 8 inches long. With this intensive farming method, Shrimp reach a weight of 40 shrimp ib after 80 days with a productivity of 55 tons per pond. Tiny shrimp are raised in vast shrimp ponds. They go through a magical development journey. With a flexible combination of traditional experience and modern technology, these farmers create a sustainable production chain, contributing to the welfare and development of the community. Every day, the work of shrimp farmers starts early in the morning. They regularly check the pond situation to know the status of the shrimp. During the harvest season, everything will be much more difficult. Sometimes, shrimp harvesting will take place at night like this. Their goal is to get all the shrimp ashore as quickly as possible, then transport them to the processing facility immediately. Because only then can they ensure quality and bring consumers the freshest shrimp. This farmer is feeding shrimp using traditional methods. They will go around the pond area to spread food. This way, they ensure that 95% of the food can be delivered to all the shrimp in the pond. This farm is more invested. Feeding is done using automatic feed dispensers. However, regardless of the size of the shrimp farm, feed costs still account for 50% to 70% of production costs. Shrimp farmers will rely on dissolved oxygen, pH, ammonia, water colour and water odour as indicators to evaluate the water quality of the pond. When water conditions in ponds deteriorate due to leftover food and shrimp excreta, farmers will treat the water in the pond to prevent disease. Periodic water treatment is carried out with disinfectants in the morning. After six hours, farmers continue to add probiotics to the pond to create conditions for beneficial bacteria to proliferate in the pond environment. In grow-out ponds, shrimp are raised from the immature stage to marketable size. 
and most farms produce one to two harvests per year. The time to harvest shrimp depends on the condition of shrimp in the pond and the market price. Therefore, before harvesting, farmers will take samples by casting nets in different areas of the pond to determine their average body weight and general condition. Typically, shrimp are harvested when they are about three to six months old. Small farms harvest by hand using nets or by using traps. At this farm, the pond will be drained and then the shrimp will be collected in nets. As the men drag the nets to shore, the shrimp were placed in plastic barrels filled with ice. This is a way of cold preservation and at the same time causes the shrimp to face a slow death. In less than 10 hours after harvest, shrimp must be frozen and transported to cold storage or processing plants. Typically, while farmers arrange harvesting, factories arrange transportation. This depends on the location, but in most cases, crates of shrimp are transported by truck. Once at the processing plant, workers use antioxidant products to prevent melanin formation at this stage. After the shrimp are washed, they are evaluated for color and quality and then classified like this. The shrimp can then be processed further by peeling, deheading, divining, cutting or pre-cooking. Once processed in this way, they are packaged in bags and boxes and frozen, ready for export. At the packaging plant, all processing must be done very quickly. With a maximum time target of 4 minutes from the time the shrimp are removed from the cold washing tank in the receiving area until the time they are put into the freezer. You see, during the shrimp harvest, farmers try to cool the shrimp as quickly as possible. But all these efforts will be wasted if the temperature of the shrimp increases during processing at the packing plant because it is too warm there. Therefore, during processing, workers must maintain the temperature of shrimp below 3 degrees Celsius. Employees working in packaging plants must wear appropriate clothing to keep warm, while maintaining good hygiene in the factory. Here, the receiving tanks wash the shrimp. The inspection conveyor is designed and equipped with equipment to check and remove soft and damaged products before feeding a new batch of shrimp to the sorting machine. The sorting machine is responsible for monitoring and classifying the size of shrimp. This is the last opportunity to remove unsuitable shrimp or foreign material before the packaging process begins. Frozen shrimp is very fragile. Therefore, improper handling of these frozen products often causes broken shrimp. All packaging steps, including shipping arrangements, must be done gently and carefully to avoid damage to shrimp quality. Recently, high-tech shrimp farming models are popular with farmers because they can produce three shrimp crops per year, nearly doubling compared to traditional farming models. High-tech shrimp farming helps manage shrimp farming water quality and reduce the risk of diseases caused by weather. At the same time, the environment is protected because wastewater is thoroughly treated. The death rate of shrimp in high-tech shrimp farming is significantly lower than in traditional farming models. The shrimp industry is focusing on investing in developing a closed shrimp farming system from production to sales to reduce production costs and improve shrimp quality. Shrimp farmers have come together to form cooperatives to raise shrimp on a large scale. These cooperatives are provided with quality shrimp seeds, feed and shrimp farming materials while ensuring sales output for these cooperatives. These shrimp farming systems combined with closed production lines bring outstanding economic efficiency. Besides benefits, challenges such as diseases and fluctuating shrimp prices in the market are also the top concerns of farmers. This makes it necessary for farmers to continuously monitor and analyze situations, think about solutions, and quickly adapt to these growing challenges.